All right, you guys, buenos dias, John's Moto Garage. Welcome to the channel. And just like that, we have already sold a motorcycle. It's been less than 12 hours since I posted my last video that I'm selling all my bikes. And if you can guess, believe it or not, the first bike I sold was the Triumph Bonneville. Granted, that is the only bike that I actually got around to posting on Facebook Marketplace. I decided I'll post just one bike at a time so I'm not fielding too many inquiries. I must have had like 30 plus people hit me up on that motorcycle, which is a, a sign that I either priced it perfectly or I priced it well below market. I mean, the, uh, the thing with that bike is it's a 2012 and it for sure needed a new battery. I, I didn't have a battery so you couldn't even turn the key to see how many miles were on it. So anybody coming out to look at it, I had to have it priced well enough to where it was worth the gamble. Now, I know that it only has like 33, 3400 miles on it, but somebody come in to look at it if they don't know me, how do they know I'm telling the truth and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's talk about how much money I made or lost on the uh, Triumph. So that bike, Jackie and I bought for, I think 4,200 bucks. It was between 4,000 and 4,200 dollars. Let's say 4,200 dollars uh, back in 2020 and it ran perfect when, when we bought it, but we didn't ride it a ton. And the last few times that I rode it, it was surging a little bit, similar to in the past when I've had the fuel pumps go out on a bike. So that's why I was suspecting it needed the fuel pump. And so that's the thing, if you wanna get rid of a bike that needs work, you gotta price it competitively and price it right. And I think that was the right price. Sure, maybe I could have squeezed a couple extra hundred bucks out of it. The dude who bought it said he, he I asked him if he buys and sells because I kind of had a suspicion and he said that he does. So he'll probably buy it, put you know a couple hundred bucks into it in a few hours worth of work, be able to ride it a little bit. And he should be able to get 4,000 bucks for it, honestly. But uh, that's somebody who knows what they're doing and wants to put in that work. One man's trash is another man's gold. There you have it, $2,000 cash. Back when I used to buy and sell tons of, tons of bikes, I used to always have a bunch of cash on me. Yeah, there was a time when, you know, in my safe here at the house, we would have, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 cash, <laughs> just because I was always flipping three different bikes. And it's, if you wanna buy and sell, you gotta have money on hand, because you see the deal and the bank might not be open, maybe closed, they may not have cash at the bank, you know? And so that's how kind of how I rolled back in the day. But now that I'm not buying and selling a bunch, I rarely even have 100 bucks cash on me, which is kind of annoying sometimes because there are still times when you need cash. Anyway, there's my story time for the day. The Triumph Bonneville is sold. A couple more bikes. I've had a lot of people hit me up on the Honda Grom. And so I'll be posting that one next. And for anybody who's messaged, sorry that I haven't uh, gotten back to people. Like I said, I've been fielding just bombarded with messages a few on the grom even though i haven't even posted it officially on any of the uh, marketplaces and then with that triumph i was just bombarded with messages so let me know below do you think i sold the triumph for too cheap would you have sold it for that price did i get ripped off definitely not a uh, not one of my best flips ever but that's the reality of life all right like and subscribe if you dig we'll catch you next time adios nos vemos